A blessed day learners. I'm teacher Lumaban. Let's take a review on civil service examination. Set 10b. Reading comprehension. Be ready and prepare yourself as we embark. Learn and enjoy this video. Be safe. And God bless you always. Commit your way to the Lord, trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37 verse 5. When another old cave is discovered in the south of France, it is not usually news. Rather, it is an ordinary event. Such discoveries are so frequent these days that hardly anybody pays heed to them. However, when the Lasco Cave Complex was discovered in 1940, the world was amazed. Painted directly on its walls were hundreds of scenes showing how people lived thousands of years ago. The scenes show people hunting animals, such as bison or wild cats. Other images depict birds and, most noticeably, horses, which appear in more than 300 wall images, by far outnumbering all other animals. Early artists drawing these animals accomplished a monumental and difficult task. They did not limit themselves to the easily accessible walls but carried their painting materials to spaces that required climbing steep walls or crawling into narrow passages in the Lasco complex. Unfortunately, the paintings have been exposed to the destructive action of water and temperature changes, which easily wear the images away. Because the Lasco caves have many entrances, air movement has also damaged the images inside. Although they are not out in the open air, where natural light would have destroyed them long ago, many of the images have deteriorated and are barely recognizable. To prevent further damage, the site was closed to tourists in 1963, 23 years after it was discovered. In the third paragraph, the word they refers to blank. Letter A walls. Letter B artists. Letter C animals. Letter D Materials Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter B Artists. In the third paragraph, the word they refers to artists. When another old cave is discovered in the south of France, it is not usually news. Rather, it is an ordinary event. Such discoveries are so frequent these days that hardly anybody pays heed to them. However, when the Lasco Cave Complex was discovered in 1940, the world was amazed. Painted directly on its walls were hundreds of scenes showing how people lived thousands of years ago. The scenes show people hunting animals, such as bison or wild cats. Other images depict birds and, most noticeably, horses, which appear in more than 300 wall images, by far outnumbering all other animals. Early artists drawing these animals accomplished a monumental and difficult task. They did not limit themselves to the easily accessible walls but carried their painting materials to spaces that required climbing steep walls or crawling into narrow passages in the Lasco complex. Unfortunately, the paintings have been exposed to the destructive action of water and temperature changes, which easily wear the images away. Because the Lasco caves have many entrances, air movement has also damaged the images inside. Although they are not out in the open air, where natural light would have destroyed them long ago, many of the images have deteriorated and are barely recognizable. To prevent further damage, the site was closed to tourists in 1963, 23 years after it was discovered. According to the passage, all of the following have caused damage to the paintings except blank. Letter A Light Letter B Water Letter C Air Movement Letter D Temperature Changes Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 
4, 3, 2, 1. The correct answer is letter A light. According to the passage, all of the following have caused damage to the paintings except light. When another old cave is discovered in the south of France, it is not usually news. Rather, it is an ordinary event. Such discoveries are so frequent these days that hardly anybody pays heed to them. However, when the Lascaux Cave Complex was discovered in 1940, the world was amazed. Painted directly on its walls were hundreds of scenes showing how people lived thousands of years ago. The scenes show people hunting animals, such as bison or wild cats. Other images depict birds and, most noticeably, horses, which appear in more than 300 wall images, by far outnumbering all other animals. Early artists drawing these animals accomplished a monumental and difficult task. They did not limit themselves to the easily accessible walls but carried their painting materials to spaces that required climbing steep walls or crawling into narrow passages in the Lascaux complex. Unfortunately, the paintings have been exposed to the destructive action of water and temperature changes, which easily wear the images away. Because the Lascaux caves have many entrances, air movement has also damaged the images inside. Although they are not out in the open air, where natural light would have destroyed them long ago, many of the images have deteriorated and are barely recognizable. To prevent further damage, the site was closed to tourists in 1963, 23 years after it was discovered. What does the passage say happened at the Lascaux Caves in 1963? Letter A. A new entrance was created. Letter B. Another part was discovered. Letter C. A new lighting system was installed. Letter D. Visitors were prohibited from entering. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. The correct answer is letter D. Visitors were prohibited from entering. The passage say happened at the Lascaux Caves in 1963, visitors were prohibited from entering. Official records state that the Pueblo Indians lived in New Mexico and Arizona. The word Pueblo comes from the Spanish word Pueblo, meaning town or village. The Spaniards found these Indians living in apartment houses, some of them on the side of a cliff in order that they could be reached only by ladders. Whenever they were attacked by Apaches, the Pueblos would pull up the ladders. They grew corn, which they watered with water flowing down in ditches. They wove cloth, made wonderful baskets, and created jars and pots out of clay proving how skillful they were at handcraft. From the passage we understand that the Pueblo Indians were afraid of Letter A Cliff Dwelling Letter B Apache Indians Letter C Apartment Houses Letter D Water Flowing Down in Ditches Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter B Apache Indians. From the passage we understand that the Pueblo Indians were afraid of Apache Indians. Official records state that the Pueblo Indians lived in New Mexico and Arizona. The word Pueblo comes from the Spanish word Pueblo, meaning town or village. The Spaniards found these Indians living in apartment houses, some of them on the side of a cliff in order that they could be reached only by ladders. Whenever they were attacked by Apaches, the Pueblos would pull up the ladders. They grew corn, which they watered with water flowing down in ditches. They wove cloth, made wonderful baskets, 
and created jars and pots out of clay proving how skillful they were at handcraft. Why the Spaniards called these Indians Pueblos is because they Letter A were close to the Apaches Letter B lived together in a town or village Letter C pulled up their ladders when attacked Letter D farmed and brought down water in ditches Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 1 the correct answer is letter B live together in a town or village. The Spaniards called these Indians Pueblos is because they live together in a town or village. Official records state that the Pueblo Indians lived in New Mexico and Arizona. The word Pueblo comes from the Spanish word Pueblo, meaning town or village. The Spaniards found these Indians living in apartment houses, some of them on the side of a cliff in order that they could be reached only by ladders. Whenever they were attacked by Apaches, the Pueblos would pull up the ladders. They grew corn, which they watered with water flowing down in ditches. They wove cloth, made wonderful baskets, and created jars and pots out of clay proving how skillful they were at handcraft. The Pueblo Indians lived on the side of a cliff. Letter A Although they had apartment houses. Letter B To observe the stars in the sky for rain season. Letter C And, they didn't have a lake, a stream, or a pond. Letter D So that they could provide themselves with shelters. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2. 1. The correct answer is letter D so that they could provide themselves with shelters. The Pueblo Indians lived on the side of a cliff so that they could provide themselves with shelters. In the 16th century, an age of great marine and terrestrial exploration, Ferdinand Magellan led the first expedition to sail around the world. As a young Portuguese noble, he served the King of Portugal, but he became involved in the quagmire of political intrigue at court and lost the king's favor. After he was dismissed from service by the King of Portugal, he offered to serve the future Emperor Charles V of Spain. A papal decree of 1493 had assigned all land in the New World west of 50 degrees west longitude to Spain and all the land east of that line to Portugal. Magellan offered to prove that the East Indies fell under Spanish authority. On September 20, 1519, Magellan set sail from Spain with five ships. More than a year later, one of these ships was exploring the topography of South America in search of a water route across the continent. This ship sank, but the remaining four ships searched along the southern peninsula of South America. Finally, they found the passage they sought near 50 degrees south latitude. Magellan named this passage the Strait of All Saints, but today it is known as the Strait of Magellan. One ship deserted while in this passage and returned to Spain, so fewer sailors were privileged to gaze at that first panorama of the Pacific Ocean. Those who remained crossed the meridian now known as the International Date Line in the early spring of 1521 after 98 days on the Pacific Ocean. During those long days at sea, many of Magellan's men died of starvation and disease. Later, Magellan became involved in an insular conflict in the Philippines and was killed in a tribal battle. Only one ship and 17 sailors under the command of the Basque navigator Elcano survived to complete the westward journey to Spain and thus prove once and for all that the world is round, with no precipice at the edge. The 16th century was an age of great blank exploration. Letter A Land Letter B Mental Letter C Cosmic Letter D Common Man Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 
The correct answer is letter A land. The 16th century was an age of great land exploration. In the 16th century, an age of great marine and terrestrial exploration, Ferdinand Magellan led the first expedition to sail around the world. As a young Portuguese noble, he served the King of Portugal, but he became involved in the quagmire of political intrigue at court and lost the king's favor. After he was dismissed from service by the King of Portugal, he offered to serve the future Emperor Charles V of Spain. A papal decree of 1493 had assigned all land in the New World west of 50 degrees west longitude to Spain and all the land east of that line to Portugal. Magellan offered to prove that the East Indies fell under Spanish authority. On September 20, 1519, Magellan set sail from Spain with five ships. More than a year later, one of these ships was exploring the topography of South America in search of a water route across the continent. This ship sank, but the remaining four ships searched along the southern peninsula of South America. Finally, they found the passage they sought near 50 degrees south latitude. Magellan named this passage the Strait of All Saints, but today it is known as the Strait of Magellan. One ship deserted while in this passage and returned to Spain, so fewer sailors were privileged to gaze at that first panorama of the Pacific Ocean. Those who remained crossed the meridian now known as the International Date Line in the early spring of 1521 after 98 days on the Pacific Ocean. During those long days at sea, many of Magellan's men died of starvation and disease. Later, Magellan became involved in an insular conflict in the Philippines and was killed in a tribal battle. Only one ship and 17 sailors under the command of the Basque navigator Elcano survived to complete the westward journey to Spain and thus prove once and for all that the world is round, with no precipice at the edge. Magellan lost the favor of the King of Portugal when he became involved in a political blank. Letter A Problem Letter B Discussion Letter C Negotiation Letter D Entanglement Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D entanglement. Magellan lost the favor of the King of Portugal when he became involved in a political entanglement. In the 16th century, an age of great marine and terrestrial exploration, Ferdinand Magellan led the first expedition to sail around the world. As a young Portuguese noble, he served the King of Portugal, but he became involved in the quagmire of political intrigue at court and lost the king's favor. After he was dismissed from service by the King of Portugal, he offered to serve the future Emperor Charles V of Spain. A papal decree of 1493 had assigned all land in the New World west of 50 degrees west longitude to Spain and all the land east of that line to Portugal. Magellan offered to prove that the East Indies fell under Spanish authority. On September 20, 1519, Magellan set sail from Spain with five ships. More than a year later, one of these ships was exploring the topography of South America in search of a water route across the continent. This ship sank, but the remaining four ships searched along the southern peninsula of South America. Finally, they found the passage they sought near 50 degrees south latitude. Magellan named this passage the Strait of All Saints, but today it is known as the Strait of Magellan. One ship deserted while in this passage and returned to Spain, so fewer sailors were privileged to gaze at that first panorama of the Pacific Ocean. Those who remained crossed the meridian now known as the International Date Line in the early spring of 1521 after 98 days on the Pacific Ocean. During those long days at sea, many of Magellan's men died of starvation and disease. Later, Magellan became involved in an insular conflict in the Philippines and was killed in a tribal battle. 
Only one ship and 17 sailors under the command of the Basque navigator Elcano survived to complete the westward journey to Spain and thus prove once and for all that the world is round, with no precipice at the edge. The Pope divided New World lands between Spain and Portugal according to their location on one side or the other of an imaginary geographical line 50 degrees west of Greenwich that extends in a blank direction. Letter A crosswise Letter B Southeast Letter C North and West Letter D North and South Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D North and South. The Pope divided New World lands between Spain and Portugal according to their location on one side or the other of an imaginary geographical line 50 degrees west of Greenwich that extends in a north and south direction. In the 16th century, an age of great marine and terrestrial exploration, Ferdinand Magellan led the first expedition to sail around the world. As a young Portuguese noble, he served the King of Portugal, but he became involved in the quagmire of political intrigue at court and lost the King's favor. After he was dismissed from service by the King of Portugal, he offered to serve the future Emperor Charles V of Spain. A papal decree of 1493 had assigned all land in the New World west of 50 degrees west longitude to Spain and all the land east of that line to Portugal. Magellan offered to prove that the East Indies fell under Spanish authority. On September 20, 1519, Magellan set sail from Spain with five ships. More than a year later, one of these ships was exploring the topography of South America in search of a water route across the continent. This ship sank, but the remaining four ships searched along the southern peninsula of South America. Finally, they found the passage they sought near 50 degrees south latitude. Magellan named this passage the Strait of All Saints, but today it is known as the Strait of Magellan. One ship deserted while in this passage and returned to Spain, so fewer sailors were privileged to gaze at that first panorama of the Pacific Ocean. Those who remained crossed the meridian now known as the International Date Line in the early spring of 1521 after 98 days on the Pacific Ocean. During those long days at sea, many of Magellan's men died of starvation and disease. Later, Magellan became involved in an insular conflict in the Philippines and was killed in a tribal battle. Only one ship and 17 sailors under the command of the Basque navigator Elcano survived to complete the westward journey to Spain and thus prove once and for all that the world is round, with no precipice at the edge. One of Magellan's ships explored the blank of South America for a passage across the continent. Letter A Islands Letter B Coastline Letter C Mountain Range Letter D Physical Features Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D physical features. One of Magellan's ships explored the physical features of South America for a passage across the continent. In the 16th century, an age of great marine and terrestrial exploration, Ferdinand Magellan led the first expedition to sail around the world. As a young Portuguese noble, he served the King of Portugal, but he became involved in the quagmire of political intrigue at court and lost the King's favor. After he was dismissed from service by the King of Portugal, he offered to serve the future Emperor Charles V of Spain. A papal decree of 1493 had assigned all land in the New World west of 50 degrees west longitude to Spain and all the land east of that line to Portugal. Magellan offered to prove that the East Indies fell under Spanish authority. On September 20, 1519, Magellan set sail from Spain with five ships. More than a year later, 
one of these ships was exploring the topography of South America in search of a water route across the continent. This ship sank, but the remaining four ships searched along the southern peninsula of South America. Finally, they found a passage they sought near 50 degrees south latitude. Magellan named this passage the Strait of All Saints, but today it is known as the Strait of Magellan. One ship deserted while in this passage and returned to Spain, so fewer sailors were privileged to gaze at that first panorama of the Pacific Ocean. Those who remained crossed the meridian now known as the International Date Line in the early spring of 1521 after 98 days on the Pacific Ocean. During those long days at sea, many of Magellan's men died of starvation and disease. Later, Magellan became involved in an insular conflict in the Philippines and was killed in a tribal battle. Only one ship and 17 sailors under the command of the Basque navigator Elcano survived to complete the westward journey to Spain and thus prove once and for all that the world is round, with no precipice at the edge. Four of the ships sought a passage along a southern blank. Letter A coast. Letter B inland. Letter C border. Letter D body of land with water on three sides. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5 4 3 2 1 The correct answer is letter D body of land with water on three sides. Four of the ships sought a passage along a southern body of land with water on three sides. In the 16th century, an age of great marine and terrestrial exploration, Ferdinand Magellan led the first expedition to sail around the world. As a young Portuguese noble, he served the King of Portugal, but he became involved in the quagmire of political intrigue at court and lost the king's favor. After he was dismissed from service by the King of Portugal, he offered to serve the future Emperor Charles V of Spain. A papal decree of 1493 had assigned all land in the New World west of 50 degrees west longitude to Spain and all the land east of that line to Portugal. Magellan offered to prove that the East Indies fell under Spanish authority. On September 20, 1519, Magellan set sail from Spain with five ships. More than a year later, one of these ships was exploring the topography of South America in search of a water route across the continent. This ship sank, but the remaining four ships searched along the southern peninsula of South America. Finally, they found the passage they sought near 50 degrees south latitude. Magellan named this passage the Strait of All Saints, but today it is known as the Strait of Magellan. One ship deserted while in this passage and returned to Spain, so fewer sailors were privileged to gaze at that first panorama of the Pacific Ocean. Those who remained crossed the meridian now known as the International Date Line in the early spring of 1521 after 98 days on the Pacific Ocean. During those long days at sea, many of Magellan's men died of starvation and disease. Later, Magellan became involved in an insular conflict in the Philippines and was killed in a tribal battle. Only one ship and 17 sailors under the command of the Basque navigator Elcano survived to complete the westward journey to Spain and thus prove once and for all that the world is round, with no precipice at the edge. The passage was found near 50 degrees south of blank. Letter A Spain. Letter B Portugal. Letter C Greenwich. Letter D. The Equator. Choose the suitable answer based on the given choices in 5 seconds. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. The correct answer is letter D. The Equator. The passage was found near 50 degrees south of the equator. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4 verse 13 
I hope you enjoyed. Learn something new about our topic on civil service examination. If you learned something in this video, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to share this video with your friends. If you have comments, questions, and suggestions, you can leave a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Hoping that we meet again in my next video, and God bless you always. It is Teacher Luma Ben YouTube channel.